Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl again, Isabel, aka Isabel. I don't know, aka what. I don't even know what the heck I'm saying. But anyways, um, I'm in a happy mood today because it's my last day on my current job, and I will be moving on. And I'll probably make a video on that. But today's video, it is. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I cleaned up my um makeup not too long ago. And I got rid of so many just crap that I do not use. And so far, I just kind of narrowed it down because if you're a girl, you know how hard it is to let go of things that you don't use, but they're still makeup. So you get that, you have that attachment, but um, you know it's time to let go and move on. So I have this whole bag right here of just the uh, makeup junk that I want to show you guys what I declutter from my makeup stuff and I don't have like a million and one makeup items but I do have quite a bit so and this has perfume and shit like that so first I have this little jar so this jar right here just contains like um the this is like the NARS orgasm thingy I have a whole bunch of little uh, like bare minerals I do I've never used this thing you guys They've been sitting there for years and years. I have this um, just loose um, eyeshadow powder thingies. I have this NYX glitter. Uh, I just I just can't work with this shit. Like not not it's not for me. Just random little things, little eyeshadows. I let's be honest. I do not reach out for my single eyeshadows. I just don't reach for them at all. If I'm gonna you do my eyeshadow, then I just reach for a palette because whatever you need, it's there. Or you can just reach for like two different palettes or whatnot. I have this. This is a Victoria's Secret, and this is like a powdery. It smells really good. It's um, and it has this little sponge. And when you just kind of put it in your body, it has a little bit of shimmers. I mean, it's pretty and it smells like powdery. It smells really good, but I just don't use it. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of this one. Here I have just this little kabuki brush I'm getting rid of. This palette, I've used to use this palette a lot, especially when traveling because it has like your... Um, it has your highlighter, your bronzer, and then it's just got your basics for your eye, for just the neutral eyes. And I've used it quite a bit if you can't tell right there, but it, it already served me, so I no longer reach for it. So this one was a hard one to kind of let go, but let's be real. If you don't use it, you don't use it. So I have the uh, Naked palettes right here. Please let me know if you guys to use this ones because I just don't reach for them anymore. I mean, they're, they still even sell this palette, I think. And I remember even the palette and the naked. This one was my go-to. Like, this bad boy right here, this was my ride or die. But it's just kind of died out and it's old and I just don't, I just don't use them anymore. So I'm honestly getting rid of this ones. I have this Dior uh, little eyeshadow thing. It's blue, and I don't. I honestly don't usually do colorful eyeshadow. I do every now and then, but it's but it's very rare. So I'm not using this one. Let's see what else we got? Oh, I have this. Is one of the uh, Too Faced palette from from like their Christmas edition or whatever. And I mean, it's nice. It's got some bronzers. It's got some um, highlighter, blush, and it's got a lot of fun eyeshadows there. But I don't use this one a lot as well. I have this one right here. I like it, but let's be real. I didn't even know I had bought it because I don't use it. I just thought it was cool because Kat Von D. And I honestly only got it for that red eyeshadow right there. So... Again, I might use this one uh, to practice makeup on people, so yay! I have this one right here. It's an Urban Decay the Vice palette. This is a really cool palette. I love the colors, but I am not very creative when it comes to um, colors like this. I might get a little creative now, but who knows? But so far, it's in my 
a bag of um I don't reach for you no more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Surprisingly, we haven't hit any of the boxy charms because you guys, I freaking canceled my boxy charm like months ago because let's be real i was not using a lot of the stuff there and it was just money down the drain because i was giving out the palettes i was giving out the makeup or i was just throwing it away i will only use maybe like one or two items out of the month out of the monthly thingy and you know it was just draining my damn bank account and girl don't play with my money oh oh talking about boxy charm so here we got this one this is the Midnight Masquerade by Pure Pure Cosmetics. You know, this is actually a really nice palette, but again, it was just another palette, another random palette that I had there, and I was like, eh, whatever. It's a palette, and I was there, eh, yeah, maybe one day. This one, I gave it a try once, and this is the Party Animal by Laura Lee, and we all know all that bullshit that went down with her, and nobody cared about her palette, and blah, 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 but let's be real. Look at those damn colors. They're popping, girl, and these colors are really in, so I might take this one back. You know what? I'm gonna take this one back, shit, because look at them colors. Like, girl, you know you'll be popping with this shit right here, so take it back. Oh, we got this one. I actually really like this one. The Crown Pro by, I don't know, Crown Cosmetics. I don't know. But these are super, super warm colors. And you know, these colors look really, really good. Especially maybe like in the fall or just like your everyday uh, colors. This is really, really nice. Um, I just, I feel like I have too many palettes with like this family of colors. So I was like just... There's just too many options. Like, just give me one option and I'm good. So, eh, it, it's there. Oh, I don't even know what this one is doing here. Oh, shit. This is an Anastasia Contour Kit. And this is one of my favorites. I don't even know why I have it there. Maybe because I wasn't reaching for it as much. I started using the Cream Contour, which I love better. I feel like it gives me a better, more of a precise and a dewier look. So, I used to use this one a lot, so I might take it back again, you know, my, I might, I take it back. But yeah, it's there. This makeup forever. I was desperately one time looking for a highlighter, and uh, back in the days, they didn't have much options, so I ended up getting this. This one has a highlighter and a bronzer, and um... It's just not, no, it, it just didn't work for me. And I mean, $40 for something that you're not going to use, oh my God, it like, it breaks me. It breaks my heart, you guys, because it's just so much money down the drain. Let me see, more palettes. I have this Protege by, uh, Protege, I don't know, Suba, Suba Beauty. And this, another BoxyCharm right here, another BoxyCharm bad boy. And look again, the colors. I mean, it's got some really cool like the cool tone colors at the top and then some warm tone colors and I mean I'm sure you can create really nice um looks with this one but again I feel like it's just another random palette with colors that you probably already have a million and one times in your other makeup so uh yeah giving it the kick this one this one used to be one of my favorites again I used to use this one a lot and this is the Monarch palette by uh, Kat Von B and Again, the colors are super beautiful. I just don't reach for it anymore. And it was just cluttering my makeup. And I just wouldn't reach for it anymore. So why even have it there? And now I haven't had all, all of these palettes in my makeup area for like months. I'm going to say like six months already. And I have not been like, oh my god, I really, I need that palette. I, I haven't. So I mean... If, if it comes down to that, then you know you're, you're done with that palette. Because if you're like doing your makeup on, and you're like, oh, where'd that palette go? And you you find it's there, then then you're going to be like, okay, then I wasn't done with you, baby. You know, like, come back to me. But I have not wanting to reach for it. So that means that maybe it was time to let go. Okay, here we 
go with another one of um this is color pop this is another boxy charm edition and oh the colors are just too beautiful as well but again i was not i think i will only use them like once or twice when i would get it from boxy charm and then i was like eh you know i'll go back to my regular ones that i really really use on a daily so this one just became a, a just another another palette in my collection so give it the boot it's a beautiful palette but again no. Almost there, you guys. So the last one, well, almost. Um, this one, I honestly just bought it for the fuck of it. This is a Too Faced uh, little palette by, Sh um, it's called Sugar Pop. And um, the colors are, you know, just cute. I think I just got it, like I said, just for the fuck of it. Just because it's got the macaroons there. And it's just like a little unique palette. But... I only used to like twice maybe at the most so why even have it there this is a pretty big one this is a, a smashbox palette this is the book art love and colored by um I don't know who but um I just wanted this palette so bad and when I got it I only used to like twice and I just don't even care to even bother to even wanting to use it so let me open it and it's I mean it's a pretty cool palette it just has all these colors there and it's just your basic like a basic palette and I mean it's okay maybe uh, if you're gonna do makeup on people but like for me I no, I kind of forced myself to use it a couple times just because I paid so much money for it but I honestly, I don't even know why I bought it, to be real. I don't even know why I bought it. Have you ever just bought makeup just because it's a new release or because of the hype or, you know, just just things like that? And then you're like, why? Like, why? Why? So anyways, I think that's all for the makeup that I got rid of. And then I have some perfumes that I honestly, there was a time in my life when I got so like, so into perfumes and i was just buying buying and buying perfumes and i wasn't really searching for my scent because now i know what my scent is and how i like to smell because girl i like to smell good you know what i mean my girl gotta smell good but anyways um there's some um items right here that i don't care about the brand i don't care about you know i just i just wasn't feeling it and i have this versace this is a versace um yellow diamond and I've used it a bit just because, you know, like I said, I bought it and it was there. And, you know, um, I just, I just don't know. I just, I can't even describe it. It's like a florally, um, it smells like kind of a spring. It's so springy. So, I got this yellow diamond right here. I got this Gucci, which I've used quite a bit of it. Um, the Gucci, but this one, it smells more like, uh like musky i don't know if you know how what this this one smells like it i don't even know if this is the packaging that they're using right now but this one is really old i like the smell but it's just not for me i feel like it's too too up there and i'm more of a fresh and more um springy i like to smell fresh and this one smells more like like I don't know guys, I don't even know how to explain it. Anyways, um, let's move on. I have this Daisy for Marc Jacobs and there is something about this. It just looks like it will smell so good and the smell of it, I just can't. I just can't do it and um, yeah, no, I, I can't. And the last one that I have right now and this is the CK1. I love, love, love this one and I think this one it's um universal so it's for me both men and women but i growing up i all the guys always used to use this one so now that that i have it I, it reminds me of a guy so as good as it smells i just i just can't do it and um i like the ck2 it's a little bit more relaxed this one is a little more stronger that way it has more of that m male the masculine smell kind of to it it smells more like a cologne rather than just a perfume but again it's for both men and women so that's probably why and um so the ck2 it's a little more relaxed and it's actually for women so um 
I got that one and I really really like it although I don't wear it as much now but yeah so this is it you guys this is all my decluttering that I got out of my makeup and I probably need to do a little bit more decluttering on it but for now this is all the shit that I'm getting rid of if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to know something about it or, you know, want if you guys want to share something about your makeup and how you get rid of stuff, how often you go through it. Because I don't go through my makeup as often as I should because I know things expired and you can only use it for a certain amount of time once you open it and, you know, just things like that. And maybe... Maybe we need to be a little more careful as to that. As for me, um, I, I do need to do that. But anyways, um, I hope you guys like this video. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.